So Allah mentioned the Quran, فَمَنْ زُحْزِهَا أَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ فَقَدْ فَازِ The ultimate goal in the life, Allah mentioned in the Quran, the Quran only he who is saved from the fire and entered into Jannah, he will be have attained the object of the life, the purpose of the life. If you are saved from the hellfire and you enter the Jannah, you will be going to the paradise. What are some other ways? Again, we mentioned Salah, Zakat, Sadaqat, Hajj, Da'awah, giving Da'awah, um, helping non-Muslims to learn about Islam. Because one of the reasons we're allowed in this country, okay, one of the reasons as Muslims we're allowed to live in this country is Da'awah. Some of the scholars mentioned the reasons why you're allowed to live in non-Muslim countries. And one of the main reasons is to give the message to the people. Okay, and sometimes you don't have to give the message by talking. There are people doing that job. Sometimes in your behavior, your manners and your akhlaq and your other. So many people are coming to this country from Eastern Europe. And I've seen in my own eyes so many Eastern European. They've never seen such multicultural societies. They're meeting Muslims. They're working with Muslims and they're becoming Muslim. Just recently, I was low last week that one uh, Lithuanian family came to this country a few years back, started working as a construction site, mixing with Muslims. And now the father is fasting, become Muslim. Now the young boy, he's in like 13 years old, he's fasting. So this through the behavior and the akhlaq, people are amazed to see what's this person and they're entering Islam. So many people from Eastern Europe, they're coming here, they're becoming Muslim, Polish person. I met one person in Green Street, he's another one from Lithuania, from Poland, and he's fasting, he's fasting, wants to learn about Islam. So this is good news, also good opportunity to support. If you can't give da'wah, then you can support those who are doing da'wah. And if you, the least is through the, as a behavior at work, when it's time to pray, you pray, uh, you say the kind word, the good word is the charity. And I mentioned, I was reading an ayah in the Quran yesterday, some people they give charity and they show off and they boast but that is not what is better than that a good word that brings happiness into the heart of a person saying something good to somebody that makes them happy and brings them peace is better than giving charity and boasting about the charity so as much as good deeds that we can do we should hurry Allah says وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا وَمَسَاكِنَ طَيِّبَةً فِي جَنَّاتِ عَدْنِ وَرِدْوَانٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرْ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمِ Allah mentioned, Allah promised to the believers, believers, the men and the women, gardens, paradise under which rivers flow, to dwell therein forever, and beautiful mansions in gardens of everlasting paradise bliss. But the greatest, but the greatest success, what is the greatest success? The greatest success is the good pleasure, seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the super, that is the greatest success. Some people, subhanallah, I don't I don't blame them because a lot of people that came from Africa and Asia where there's a lot there was a lot of poverty back in the day. It wasn't as easy. Life is so easy now. Back in the days, I'm talking about in 60s, 70s, they mentioned when they used to go in certain areas in the Middle East, they would have to take water out of the wells to drink. And now you've got sewage system, turn on a tap, water comes, even freezes. The blessing of having a fridge, we don't take it for advantage. In the Middle East, not long ago, there was no freezes. So the hardship that the people from Africa, Asia, Middle East had, such hard life, such difficulty. I remember I was told by one relative of mine, when they came in this country in 40s and 30s, there was no halal food, hardly halal food. They would have showers once a, once a week. They would have to pay public baths. Very, very difficult life. Very, very hard life. And now we have halal food everywhere. We, have, we complain if the water is too cold. We have showers every day. So such easy life we have. So when they came to this country, their aim was to make my child a doctor, an engineer, a businessman. No problem. But so many 